Welcome back to the day in AZ. Got Erica right out of the gate here joining me now on this Saturday morning at 747 because she has something for you. If you're looking for something cool to do with the kids, the Arizona Science Center is gearing up for a snow week like you've never seen before. Team 12's Erica Stapleton live with the latest exhibits you won't want to miss. What do you got, Erica? Hey Matt, so you know the snow still coming in, it's a little slower than we thought, but we have something really cool, no pun intended, but definitely intended to show you right now. Sari, what do we have here? All right, so we've got liquid nitrogen and this is all part of our ninth annual snow week, right? So made possible by Subaru this year again, and everything is so cool. This liquid nitrogen is 321 degrees below zero. And even though it looks like water, and just so the folks at home can see this, I mean, it's clear and looks like water, but it's instantly boiling as soon as it hits our air. So that 300 degree plus degree shift is making it evaporate. You can see here it's causing the water vapor in the air to condense so we can see it. And we can do some really cool science tricks with it. You want to help us out? Absolutely. Can't say no to that. I know. So I'm so glad you're in. All right. So the first thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you use these tongs. And if you want, I can hold this for us if that's helpful. And I'm okay. going to have you put this... Um, balloon into our liquid nitrogen and let's see what happens there so if you can Tail shove first, it sure however you first can, okay however you can do it well right, so, yeah just try to jam it in there we'll see Ooh. 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 even if it comes undone. undone okay but look at that it's it's you know it's shrinking down it's shrinking whoop <laughs> if we can get it in. our balloon is coming undone so i guess this this dog wasn't exactly the most stable dog oh but, but look at that you can clearly see the effects that this is having on it that's right so what's inside a balloon Air. Air. You got it. So this is so cold, it's actually causing the air to go from a gas into a liquid. And as soon as it starts to warm up again, look, it comes right back. That's wow. how cold that liquid nitrogen well, is. And to put it into snow context, you know, I know in the wintertime, especially if it's colder out, like your tires in your car shrink in and things like that. So it's, you know, it's that's, all part of the season. Absolutely. That's exactly right. And that's a great way to think of it and bring it back to a, a local reference. So people who live in cold climates or even now, as we start to see it cool down here, that tire inflation and that, that difference in pressure is exactly something that you can start to relate the same concept to. All right. Well, we have, yeah, we do have one big cool thing to show you again, cool emphasis on cool. So we're going to shift our way over here and we'll get, make sure we have a good safe distance. That's right. So, uh, we're going to, we talked a little bit about weather. Um, we can make a cloud happen right here. So this is really, really cold. That liquid nitrogen again is 320 degrees below zero. So we're going to put that into a big container over here. So I'm going to jump it all here. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some boiling water and watch what happens with our temperature shift. And before I grab that water, I'm gonna put on my, my safety mask and let me grab that right behind you here. And then I'm gonna have you do a countdown for Okay, me. we're gonna, right, I know we're getting the cue to wrap, but we're gonna do this one thing. It's really cool, I promise it'll be worth it. All right, we'll do five, four, three, two, one. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? How cool is that? That big temperature shift with our boiling water and our liquid nitrogen gets a big cloud to form. So similar to how we saw at the beginning with that water moisture starting to condense, it just looks really awesome and it leads to a great conversation about weather and ties right back into Snow Week. All right, well, Sari, thank you so much. Of course, Snow Week starting today at the Science Center. Matt, how is that for you? You don't need snow on the ground to really enjoy that Christmas time, that winter time, that wintry mix. What do you think? Good stuff, Erica. I appreciate it. And speaking of weather and cold, we're going to go ahead and get right over to weather with Jamie Cagle.